Hey hippies, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Courtney Chavante. I'm back with another bomb tutorial. This one's going to be for one of my silica molds from my collection. This is from the Bow Down Tray. And I really hope you guys love this one. If you can't wait to make it, then make sure you stay tuned and also hit that subscribe button for me and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I do put out for you hippies moving forward. getting started is super super simple so each tray does come wrapped and they are going to come more transparent now so they can also be used with UV resin so that way you won't have any issues but all right so basically what we're going to do to start out is we're going to prep about 40 milliliters of I'm sorry 20 milliliters of resin and then we're just going to stir that up and add some gold foil flakes in we're going to get that stirred up really, really well because the gold flakes do hold some bubbles. So make sure you are mindful of that when you are using it and everything. Take your time getting that mixed in. Once you have it mixed up and everything, you want to go ahead and pour that into your rim. Make sure you're only getting it into the rim and not onto the tray surface because it just makes cleanup a lot easier and everything. And make sure that the rim doesn't overflow onto the base of the tray use a um, toothpick or your stir stick to move those foils around so that way there aren't any like empty spaces or anything like that you want the foil to be kind of dispersed throughout so just be mindful of that and just add in where you see necessary and then after you finish with this step you're just going to allow some time for this to cure All right, once that's had a chance to cure hippies, we're going to move on to the fun part. We're going to brush on this Aurora powder. This is a color shifting powder um, that I'm going to be adding on here, which gives it that color shift effect. So this one's going to go from that purple to that green to that blue that we really loved in the beginning and everything. And you're just going to take a regular paintbrush and you're just going to brush the Aurora powder onto your mold. You want to make sure that it's done in a nice even layer and everything. So don't be afraid to go over, you know, the spots and try to make sure you're brushing it on smoothly and then do one last little go over and everything. So that way you can make sure it's on there evenly. Um, once you're finished with that, you're just going to take a napkin and go around the edges of the rim because we don't want the Aurora powder to be where the gold flakes are because it's going to, you know, it's just not the look that we're going for, not with this one. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead and use that napkin and some alcohol spray and just go ahead and remove that and it should come up really easily for you. Then we can go on to the next step. Now, what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and prep 80 milliliters of resin. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you could have gone away with 60, so anywhere between 60 to 80 milliliters of resin will be completely fine for this step. Go ahead and mix in your mica powder, get that in mixed in really, really well. Take your time stirring, making sure to get all those bubbles and lumps out so that way it doesn't cause any issues in your finished piece. After you um, mix in that mica powder, you want to go ahead and add in some drops of opaque black alcohol ink. This is just going to make sure it's completely opaque and it's not see-through at all because like I said, that's not the look that we are going for. So just get that mixed in really, really well since the alcohol ink does like to sit on top. Um, so you want to kind of drag the resin up from the bottom and kind of stir in an upward circle elliptical way if that makes sense. All right, yeah, so go ahead, take the resin, pour it right on into the mold. You want to go ahead and pour a nice, even layer. Make sure you're working on a level surface and everything so that way it doesn't overflow and that your final project is even as well. And just make sure you're filling it um, all the way. You see me kind of being cautious and everything because I had um, a little bit left over. I end up with about five milliliters left over, so I think I just... Um, put onto the backing for a keychain or something that I had left over. Pro tip. So spray your alcohol and then just let that cure hippies. All 
all right hippies so once that's nice and cured what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and wiggle this from your mold so that we can go ahead and get it removed it should remove nice and easily because these molds are very high quality make sure you pull off any excess pieces and this is what we have right here now what we're going to do next is just going to be painting the etchings um, I'm going to pour a little bit of this black acrylic paint here right onto a piece of paper and then I'm just going to brush the acrylic paint into to the etchings using a regular paintbrush it's nothing special you can pick it up from a dollar tree um, I got these off of Amazon and I do believe I have them linked below if not I'll try to get them linked below for you so that way you can use the ones that I am using in everything um, but yeah you just want to go ahead and make sure that you are filling in the etchings and being mindful of the paint making sure you're pushing um, pushing the bristles down into the actual um, etchings and everything so that way it doesn't leave any bubbles so sometimes because sometimes when the bubbles pop it'll leave like a little air space and it won't have any paint right there so um, just be mindful of that you want to really make sure that you're really getting the paint into those etchings and everything and just really taking your time and smoothing it out don't worry about getting it onto the surface because I'm going to show you guys how to clean it up and everything in the very next step once the paint dries and it's super simple um, so you don't even have to you know too much worry about making sure that you are in the lines just make sure that you get the paint into the etchings that is the most important part All right, hippies so once that is nice and dry what we're going to do is we're going to take a damp rag and then just spray our tray with some alcohol and then we're going to wipe away that excess paint now your rag should be very 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 damp um, as far as like not super wet if it is leaving any moisture behind like any wet spots or anything like that your rag is too too wet and it's going to re-wet the paint and it's it's going to make it all messy and you know you just don't want that so just make sure that the um the um rag is damp and closer to dry than it is wet now um feel free to spray a little bit more alcohol as you move along and everything some spaces are going to be harder to wipe down than others and you may need to get in there with some q-tips and everything like you see me doing but just take your time and you don't have to worry everything is going to come up and this isn't anything that you have to worry about rushing nothing's going to you know dry up on you or anything like that so yeah um, but I am really in love with the etchings. I love how these etchings look on here I really love how our little queen looks on her throne here I am so passionate about making sure that I provide molds that have People with black features on there because when I first started with resin I seen so few molds that people had that actually had black representation The only molds I really seen was like the one like the Africa molds and everything and don't get me wrong those are cute and everything but dang like everyone's not from africa for one and two like we we have other things that we like like we have other things that we like quit just slapping africa on us and then claiming that you know you have black representation and you know you putting on for black people that's not what's happening but anyway yeah that's my little mini rant you're gonna see a lot more designs like this from me moving forward so look forward to seeing those locks look forward to seeing braids look forward to seeing curls look forward to seeing afros because they are coming okay look out for it 
all right so go ahead and fill in any spaces that you need to with the black acrylic paint if they wiped up because some of these etching spaces are large once you finish with that what we're going to do is you're going to whip up about 15 to 20 milliliters of resin and then you're just going to go ahead and pour that onto the base of your tray spread it around make sure it's a nice and even a layer and everything so that way it seals in these etchings beautifully and it um, make sure that you know the acrylic paint doesn't fade away later and you can really like just kind of close in the look and everything you want to make sure that this is bubble free as well so spray it with alcohol if necessary then we're going to let this cure completely Ta-da, hippies! Here is our color shifting black afro bow down goddess. I am really rocking with this tray. Like, I love that she is just really sitting here perched on her throne. Like, she is not addressing any peasants. You can feel that energy. Like, she ain't even got no shoes on. She in her dress. She just chilling. You you know she just gets up every day, do her makeup, and you know sit on her throne and just do whatever she want to do that day and those are the vibes that i am channeling with the silicone mold okay look at how these etchings turned out look at how these color shifts look i love how the gold foil really complements everything and makes the tray look even more regal and everything than the black girl already does for us because representation matters sis yes and you're not gonna i'm not gonna stop saying it i'm never gonna stop saying it but yeah i'm really loving this tray i hope you guys are really loving this tray like i had so much fun with it it was really a simple design and everything but it looks way more complex than it actually is so it's very much be big um, beginner friendly too now if you guys have any questions comments or anything like that you know i love hearing from you leave them down below for me so that way i can make sure you get them answered and everything and until next time hippies i really appreciate your support and thank you so much for returning back to continue rocking with me xo xo mwah. catch you next time